It's uh, supported by different organizations like suppose for uh, ICRI, land based activity. It's supported by NABAR and also as in BMG. But this cultural preservation project we do through the growth funding. Okay. There, are, there are you know donors, individual well wishers, donors and community contribution. So yeah, so so now the, we are breaking the genes of uh, the old belief that the traditional folklore should be performed only by the elderly people. Sir, please, now, sir, please tell me a bit about yourself and your organization okay. to our viewers. <coughs> Yeah. Hello, I'm, my name is Sethi Sham Sandam. I'm from Nagaland. I'm the founder of Better Life Foundation. So way back in 2009, I used to be in the UN, working with the United Nations Population Fund on HLB visa in US. But I decided to come back, work with the community, because there are a number of challenges faced by the community, like the basic life the environment. Right? So then um, I came back. Now we have, uh, when we came back, we have uh, two plans. One is short term livelihood that is on uh, agriculture, environment sustainability, and conservation, biodiversity conservation. And in the long term, is uh, sustainable tourism, eco tourism. You told so about just, art and culture, and so you are yes. trying to revive that. <clears throat> yes. So now, uh, in this um, you know, sustainable tourism, we don't have any built-in heritage like the one we see here today. Of course, we do have a you know 150 years old, 250 years old few log trams which are still left. Log trams is one of the significant instrument that is used by the community to communicate. So there are very few left. But otherwise, the folk dance and folk notes are very rich, which are going to die off very soon because we believe elderly people believe that it's a ritual that. The younger generation people should not perform that, do that, follow that. So now we are breaking a genes to train the younger people. So In the name of modernism, we try to yes, yes. survive. The main question is very nice. The younger people train for 94. Yes. Yeah. So last year we started, we identified the cultural markers like a folk dance, folklore, a log trump beating. We identified the cultural markers and we selected 94 young boys and girls aged from 12 years to 21 years. Oh, boys nice. and girls. And, um, they're, they're not, so how many girls? Yeah, 44 girls and 50 boys. Oh, nice. They were trained for six months and now they are ready if there's any cultural program. Uh, gender you know, equity and quality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah cultural program anywhere else in the different state. Yeah, they can represent the state. Yeah, they can, so they can invite them. Uh, one question for you. Uh, this types of agriculture basically you uh, targeted like uh, plants, this okay. types of plants. Right. So, uh, we follow a conventional system of chum cultivation. We also call it in Sweden, which is a shift from place to place every year. So now, what improves the agriculture, what we are promoting now is a horticulture, basically horticulture. But in horticulture, from plant to plant and row to row, there are about 10 to 15 feet distance. So, all the best practices that we have in the agriculture, we took it to the next level. In between the fruit trees, we grow all the vegetables that has been grown in the, the conventional chum cultivation area. So, at the meantime, we are creating a settled farming. So it's kind of a natural farming. We do all sort kinds of uh, interventions like retaining, or we make a uh, condor soils. We make a uh, percolation beds so that the water, whatever it comes to that land, is being retained. That's how to retain the moisture in the soil. So that's how. So that's why the farmers are able to sustain without any chemical. We have never used fertilizer or chemical in our land. Never introduced. Please, please tell me a bit about your NGO and what is the Earth's okay. manpower and how right, right. much area you are covering, so, like how much district you are covering. Right. So this Better Life Foundation is an NGO registered in 2009 and um, we are present uh, all over Nagaland and of course we do work with a few states, other states like in Mekhalaya okay. and, uh, and now we the manpower, talking about the manpower in our organization, 50% of the people, workers are local. Okay? And among that 50%, 50% 50 
are Muslim volunteers. And so another fifty percent of the the whole main workforce, they are either volunteers, interns from outside, not only from all parts of India but also from different parts oh, of the nice. world. Those who want to learn about the yes, culture, yes. art and culture and wants to yeah. you know contribute. Yeah. So it's a more like a community based uh, yes, yes. volunteer driven organization. Okay. So one question for from my side uh, about people so about the country, they are inspired or not? Mm -hmm. your, your plants, they are inspired or not? Yes, yes. When okay. they come, they really... Yes. It's a proud yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, they, they, they really want to stay back yeah. for longer, but uh, there are a lot of difficulties yeah. about uh, the foreigners to stay. But otherwise, uh, they come, they really enjoy, they really contribute to the community. Okay. Not only in the farming, but also in getting the community. Like, uh, we had a footballer from Brazil okay. who came volunteered with us. So he used to train our young boys about the football. Oh, nice. He used to coach them. Very nice. Thank you. Nice talking awesome. to you, sir. Thanks. Thank you so much.